Brought up by a stern mother, Tariq found support from his father and his uncles. But it was close friends who molded his life. From an eventful childhood to school and then on to college, Tariq was slowly getting nurtured into the art of politics. एक आदमी का नाम है कुरैशी रहता दिल्ली में कहता मैं कुरैश के कबीले से हूँ मक्के से निकला था वो चौदह सौ साल पहले ना वो जॉर्डन में रुका ना इराक में रुका ना ईरान में रुका ना बलोचिस्तान में ना सिंध में ना राजस्थान में ना पाकिस्तान में कहीं दिल्ली आ गया सारे प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद के जो ट्राइब के लोग थे वो दिल्ली में आके कसाई की दुकानें खोले उसको मैं क्या करूँ तुम अपने आप को हिंदुस्तानी बोलो बच्चों के नाम हिंदुस्तानी रखो तो मैं भी जल्दी जजमेंट नहीं पास करूँगा तो पुरानी दिल्ली निकालिए जहाँ कोई आदमी ना हो हिंदुस्तानी जिसका नाम ही कोई अशोक नाम का आदमी नहीं रहता वहाँ Throughout school, I was I was nobody because I had I didn't even have a kana. Hmm. And you have nothing. Ah, uh, you're nothing. In, you're in rock a, bottom. What there, are you, you have yeah. very rich friend uh, mm. friends. Mm. They're still my friends. Correct. Some of them I just met a couple of months mm. ago. Mm. 1955 से आज तक हम चार पांच लोग बीस लोग हैं तकरीबन मिलते. But when I was in college, I realized कि मैं अपने आप को under privilege samatam there were people who were worse off than me by multiple levels okay. and who were far brighter than me in education correct okay. so they would come in sponge ki chappal different color ki pani bhi mm. or they would have just one shirt and one pant mm. so uh, as i said i met some students who were senior mm. uh, medical students who were communists I was greatly influenced by uh, the teachings of Marx, okay, and the understanding of society's history, hmm. uh, how society develops by early reading of Karl Marx and Engels, and I subsequently read a lot about Lenin as well, and I understood about Ho Chi Minh ka pada. So, your aim was to make a difference. My aim was to very simple at that oppose. time to ensure that education was free. Okay. and students would have to come and go to the colleges at a very minimal rate hmm. by the time i had gone through 3 4 years a student could visit could go to any part of the city and back and forth hmm. for 10 paise ek second do aane shayad 10 paise ya 12 paise kuch aisa tha we had Done that, dealing hmm. with the government and fighting with the city and all that. मुझे पता है कि आपके कॉलेज में आपके जो एक्सपीरियंसेस थे, there was a reason. आप कह रहे हैं कि आपको unknown reason था. Hmm. You just wanted to do something. You wanted not to experience the same things that you had experienced before. Endurance. Endurance and and then you didn't want to be bullied. Yeah. Right. You wanted to stand up for your own self. Yes. But then, okay, you won. You found a way to win. Then, what kind of difference did you create by becoming a leader? Well, uh, on a minute scale, many things about you know student fees and how exams are done. Bo chone. Hmm. What I realize is that in a society, there are only two segments that can be achieved with expectations. You can have expectations of them. Correct. and those segments are people who are not worried about getting fired okay who are they people who are retired mm -hmm. and people who are students correct or the unemployed or the homeless so you're talking about people who are fearless actually my contribution to such would be that i was able to arouse a lot of people main aapko ek example do ki jab pakistan और हिंदुस्तान की जंग होने वाली थी hmm. तो हमारी कराची यूनिवर्सिटी में वी वर एबल टू गेट अबाउट अ थाउजेंड पीपल टू सपोर्ट द मुक्ति इनक्रेडिबल दिस इज टेल मी वन थिंग व्हेन यू यू से गॉट सपोर्ट इज इट बिकॉज ऑफ द 
um, the power of words, the power of being able the to truth. convince people. No, the power of truth. The power of truth, but there's a connection that you need. Yes, to, right? yes. It you, is I, I, I can now tell you the truth that, you know, yahan pe kuch ho gaya, ya isme kuch hai. it's the truth. But the way you say the truth, you have to win the hearts, you have to connect with the people to buy them. oratory ka hai. I was a fairly good speaker. I, I assume I still am. That is why I'm Did asking. you get this from your father, your mother? Uh, I I'm no. presuming your mom. No, my mom was um, was a great damper in my life. She made sure that I would not do anything. And at one stage, I left home. I never went back. I lived on the streets for a few days. Mm. I never went back home. I never lived with my mum after that incident because they, she, she they, was quite hostile to whatever I did. Yeah. So Tariq lived in Nazarbad number one, two, and I lived in Nazarbad number one, which was you know two two kind of subdivisions of Nazarbad. A big main road would divide us, so we, I would cross the road and go to his place all the time, and he will come over. When I would go to Tariq's place, usually his dad would be sitting there outside on the deck kind of area, porch, mm -hmm. reading a book. So we will go and, you know, Salaam Alaikum and, and, and uh, Tariq, is he home? So his uh, response would be, Aapko kya main bura lagta Like, do, don't you like to talk to me? <laughs> yeah. So I said, no, 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 sir, definitely. You know, and he will ask us a question of the, what's going on in politics, which was fine. But I still wanted to know if he was home or not, so that I can, in my mind, figure out how long to spend my time with him. I can sit there and talk to him. Uh, you know, he was a very interesting person. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, talking to uh, to him about the our politics, student level, but he will contribute about the national level. He, but this thing fits in there and that is this, this. He was never hostile towards us, like some other parents would say, Ki, you are wasting your time, go back to your studies. He never, he said, never that. said that. Yeah. He would always ask me, his first line would be, don't you like to talk to me? Kya main aapko bura lagta hu? <laughs> so that was fine. <laughs> I just want to know if he's home or not. So then we can carry on. So interesting, you know, I met him again many, many years later. But again, that was, and he would always talk. He, I, he's what I remember. He was always input me. Very decent This, man. Is, this is what happened. Yeah. So then one time I went, his dad was not there. And I, he said, come on in. And I sat in the uh, drawing room. So I was in, the, in his drawing room sitting and we were talking. Suddenly his mom knocks the door inside, like, you know, as if telling him, come and get something. He goes in, yes, mom. And his mom gave him two big glasses of very nice lassi or sherbet or some very good drink. So he brings it over, but he doesn't tell me to drink. He sits there with his head in his hands. What is the meaning of this? Why did my mother give me this? But apparently you had a problem in there. Yeah. So you were trying to figure out what is what this was, uh, motive behind <laughs> He Kashi. never asked me to drink. He was not drinking it either. The drink was... So, Tariq, should I have... Ek yeah, but why is this? <laughs> yeah, because he was very harsh to me. After that, I think she came to the campus one time also. We yeah. met her there. And I, after she came to the campus, I never went back home. Yeah. I walked out that night. I remember I slept on a... Uh, a, a, a sort of convert over a nala. You know, they used to have mm -hmm. the cemented things. Mm -hmm. I slept under the moon solid slab. Then there was a bench. And I called, you remember Abid Ali Sayyid? Okay, oh, thank you. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Somehow, I got in touch with him. <clears throat> he took me to his home one night. Then I lived for about 10 days with Intizar Zaidi, okay, the guy yeah. who was in prison with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And I never went back home after that. Tariq left home, I think. He yeah. came over and stayed with me. Okay, mm. so I used to go there just to find. My mother was, uh, you know, par bahut parishan thi. Ki tarik kya gaya idhar? Kya ho gaya? Maine kya wo gaye mein parents ke Punjab. To ye iswa se aagi. I went to college. I met the first uh, student activists who were left of center, uh, close to the Communist Party, mm. and were. Uh, I realized for the first time. That Pakistan was under a military dictatorship. I didn't know until then. Well, Absar and I lived in this 
same neighborhood. We lived in Azimabad, both of us. Block. Uh, well, I was in two, you were in one. Uh, across the main street. Yeah. The two yeah. of us. So we see I each think other we all met almost every day, if not every other day. And we had another friend, uh, Mahboob, also in Nazimabad, uh, and the three of us uh, were frequent travelers on my so one. Tariq used to ha have a bicycle, his own bicycle. And he would normally come over to my place and we'll go to political meetings, political rallies, political, uh, you know, offices like the Friendship House and yeah. we'll ride on his bike, Some double riding. He, one person will sit on the bar in the front Yeah. and we will take turns. When one person gets, would get tired, yeah. they'll say, okay, now it's your turn. <laughs> <Aap chalaya." laughs> and we would be doing that for hours without eating or anywhere. Honestly. And Nazibad, from Nazibad, we'll go all the way to Drig Road, which is a considerable Distance. About 20, maybe 20 miles. And we will just through all kinds of traffics and whatever. Right. So but we Nazi went everywhere. Yeah. And sometimes we were three. There would be a Mehboob at the back on yes. the carrier. Yes. We were sitting there. But two of us have ridden a bike a lot. A lot. And in Karachi, in those days, there was a, there was a very wide network of Irani hotels. Very cheap, <laughs> yeah. you know, Irani. And there were, was one very no, close to uh, my place. So usually around midnight, we all be hungry. So we'll leave the apartment upstairs and we'll go down to go and eat at what the What was the hotel. name of that place? Chorangi Pitha, na? Ha, no? There was one behind, near the Relax area. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Where Aga used to yes, sit. Yes, yes, yes. So Fatty Rani used to sit over there. Uh, dispensing tea. <laughs> yes, yes. They will. They will not serve. Not put tea cups on your table. It would be marble top table. They will always throw the tea cup on your. And table. you had to catch it. Yes, yeah, but it would never spill. Somehow we were we were <laughs> highly skilled tea drinkers. <laughs> As I was saying that when we would get hungry, uh, midnight, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, we would go down to the Rani Hotel. And Intadar would be with us most of the time. So one time we nobody had any money. We had a good, you know, serving of chai and samosa and biscuits and all. So everybody dug into the pocket. Nobody had, you know, any money for paying the bill. I never looked in my pockets because <laughs> you. Know, I, had, I had. So no. most of us used to be really, really empty pocket guys. So Intadar, very angry, suddenly he pulls up. He rolls up his shirt takes out his Imam Zamin. The Taviz. Taviz. Not Taviz. Oh, yeah, it's the, a money. You know, yes. So do Imam, it like Zamin, Imam Zamin always has money. Of Taviz course. will have a dua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah Taviz, so he yeah. takes out his Imam Zamin, which his mother gave him. For protection. So that protection and do well in the exams. Yes. <laughs> we cashed the check. <laughs> so we uh, uh, used that. He took it out. And the money was more than enough to pay the bill. So I was telling you that we were so bad. कि हम लोग हर जगह से जहां गुजरते थे और टेंट लगाए शादी ब्याह का तो हम लोग अंदर जाए खाना खा के निकल जाते थे क्योंकि कुछ पता नहीं था कब कब मिलेगा अगला खाना कब मिलेगा पैसे थे ही नहीं घर से निकले हुए एक साली साइकिल वो शुगर करे उसमें गैस वैस कुछ नहीं डलती थी वो चले जा रहे और याद आ गई एक गुरु मंदिर में मैं घर जा रहा था यूनिवर्सिटी से उतरा और मैं वो टाइम होता था किराया उतरा वो गुम हो गया अरे बाप मैं गुरु मंदिर से फेडरल भी एरिया दस्तगीर तक वॉक करके गया दस पैसे की टिकट थी इतनी भूख याद है मुझे इतनी भूख दो कई दफा दो दो दिन गुजर जाते थे खाए हुए ये अफसर के घर चढ़ के इसका पहली डिमांड होती थी खाने खाने ये बैल्कनी में आया चश्मा ऊपर आप वहाँ अफसर की अम्मा गॉड ब्लेस वो जानती थी कि बिल्कुल ही गए थे खाना वाना मिल जाता था वहाँ से सो मेनी अप्स एंड डाउन बट इट्स अबाउट ऑफ यू आर हाँ टूडे आई दिस इज माई थर्ड कंट्री दैट आई एम लिविंग इन द फर्स्ट वन इज इन एक्सेबल टू मी इंडिया इज माई अडोप्टेड होमलैंड आई टेक ओनरशिप ऑफ इट 